and I need these right now. Oh, hey, what's this? So I immediately wanted the toys, but I remember my mom was kind of like, ah, you don't need that. So I think the answer to the question is, All right, so I am in Conway, Arkansas at Retro Rick's Game Points. My buddy Retro Rick. So the reason I'm actually here is because this weekend is Retro Fest, which is put on by my friend Retro Rick. He invited me out as a guest for the show. I'm really excited. But while I was in the area, I had to check out his shop. Unfortunately, Rick's not here right now because he's way too busy setting up for said convention. But we're still gonna go in, we're gonna check this place out because here's the question that I have. They got toys in here? I'm gonna go find the toys. Game point, and I am here to check it out. That's right, as I stated, this is the store that belongs to my good friend, Retro Rick. In fact, if you're following Rick, which good chance you are already if you're into this type of content, you've likely seen this store many times over on his YouTube channel, but I want to check it out for myself. I am in town, I am here for RetroFest, and I couldn't be here without doing some additional hunting at Game Point. Now, Game Point implies that it is a video game store, but man, just walking into this place, you can see that this is so much more than video games. So I think the answer to the question is, yep, he's got a whole lot of toys in here. <laughs> a couple of jumbos right here on top. 50 for that Leo. No belt, but he's got a sword, which is pretty awesome. And then the movie three giant Leo. Oh, he's 40. That's not bad at all. Got the helmet. It's pretty awesome. I love, uh, I love the custom carded bags here. These are great. Let's see what we got down here. Rat King, ooh, hey. Sewer Spitting Donnie would be a good one. 9.99, Walkabout, Fugitoid, Talking Turtle Don. Genghis looks pretty good. He's like, looks like his accessories are in here, glasses. And it's the one with the green painted between the teeth. Sometimes you find them and it's all white. Mummy Raff, which is an awesome one. No accessories. 40 on that, General Trag. Scumbug, another scumbug, another Trag, another Rat King. Ooh, this is a good one. Paints a little more on it, but Dwarf Don is more of an uncommon. You don't see him near as often. No accessories, but this is exactly why he's got a $40 price tag. Legends of the Forgotten Sewers is one of my favorite like, subsets of turtles. I have a complete one of these at home, but still really cool to see. Okay, this is incredibly cool. Eastman and Laird's TMT Adventures. That amazing artwork on there. Look at the old Burlington price tag on this. And it's got a cassette tape. 1989 Mirage Studios. This is awesome. Looks like we got a $50 tag on it here, but love that art. This is really cool. Walking into this store and like immediately finding TMNT toys is a really good sign that I'm going to be finding what I'm looking for. This isn't just a video game store. This is a full-on retro store. And aside from this TMNT display that's 
basically right here inside the front door, I look to my left and there is just this massive corner of the store where I just see toys hanging all over the walls. It's time to do some baggy digging. I was just admiring the Ninja Turtles backer cards. Look at the He-Man ones, like his custom little backer <laughs> that's, cards that's for his cool. bag figures. That's very cool. Here's a here's a Zodak with Beast Man's arm spikes. If you need that. Oh, and Stratos's armor. He's just really mixed up. <laughs> Manny faces. Yeah, I should tell the owner. Listen here, Retro Rick. I know a guy who has a book <laughs> that could help you when you're putting these out in your store. You should, you should talk to me about it. I'll, get, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. Slush head, that's pretty cool. That's from... Ad new Adventures. New adventures. Yeah, yeah, New Adventures. There's so much cool stuff down here. Oh, here we go. Look, Total Justice Aquaman. There he is again. <laughs> He's already been to the <laughs> That's true. This Black Lightning. That's pretty awesome. Some Kenner Batman. Tech Shield's one of my favorites. That gold Batman is so cool. $7.99 is a great price, too. It's got the cape and everything in there. There's Whiplash. Stone Protect... Stone Protectors. Yeah. Yeah. And they've got accessories, which is awesome. Ah, uh, no, I have all my stone protectors still. I love the stone protectors. I sold a lot of, you know what I just sold a lot of that you were thinking of? The Battle Trolls. They're very cool too. Which, wow, I just see, I actually see something right there that I, that I need. Oh, and these both look complete too. This one's 25, this one's 20. They're Ninja Turtles. These are the, the sewer tubes from Ninja Turtles. Um, and I need these right now. I need them loose. So this might be... I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure this would be a, this would be a good pickup, actually. Join the turtles on foot patrol in their battle-ready sewer tubes, featuring wacky pizza slice and oars, depth charge, and rotating foot blasters. I recognize that. Yeah, you know what's funny about that? We were with Rick when he bought that. You remember? You remember that <laughs> day, do, right? I do that. Yeah, we were. Empire Toys in Texas is where this was originally hanging up. Now it's here. That's funny. Look at all the like. This is just like a display behind the counter, but I see so much good stuff up there. Like, I see a giant turtle troll right there. Those are pretty hard to come by. Yeah. But he's got some good stuff. Oh yeah, giant rock steadies back there too. The old Chuck E. Cheese is cool, that plush. Where's the rock steady? He's right next to Mario. Right, right there. Oh, uh, there he is. Yeah. Oh. Surge can. Oh, Surge. Good stuff. Everything in here is three dollars. Three dollar dig bin. Oh no, Mikey! I'm really just blown away by the way this place is decorated too. Like it just looks so great. I love these little display cases here. Mario in the 80s. Look at all this merch. Oh, lovely old lunch boxes. Look at this. Super Mario Target Fun. Oh, it's incredible. These old Mario 3 walkie talkies. I have this mug at home. <laughs> Love the magic sleigh too. Very cool. Then we got one over here dedicated to Home Alone with some fun stuff in there. Buzz's girlfriend. Ugh. Oh my God, look at this. Holy cow, I can scream. Screaming Kevin. Gotta have the talk boy. Angels with filthy souls. <laughs> Little Nero's Pizza. Can't have a store without um, a space dedicated to yourself, so that's cool. <laughs> Just giving you a hard time, Rick. 
Oh, I love this. The wizard. Look at that. Autographed script. Oh, this is a great one, too. Very cool. Look at all the Earthbound stuff. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize Earthbound had any merch, I don't think. That's great. I love these old, these are old, like, uh, store displays for video games. It's pretty cool, right, bud? This feels like quite a bit different than what you typically see, right, when we go to the store looking at video games. <laughs> and obviously, in case you didn't realize, it's a video game store, I think, first and foremost. I mean, it's a little bit everything, but, like, they got modern games in here. They got retro games in here. There's just so much. It's pretty incredible. Look at the clothing, vintage clothing. Look at these t-shirts. <gasps> Look at that, Zelda. Oh my God, I love it. No sweat, my pet. <laughs> Steve Urkel, it's so good. There's a certain NES guidebook. What's up, Pat? Although now, I think I have a bone to pick with Rick. Why isn't my book in here? Where's my book, Rick? So this is, this is awesome. Uh, I'm sure you remember these being around at a lot of places when we were younger, but I definitely have a picture of me as a kid sitting on a bench with, with this exact Ronald statue. So I guess I need to find that picture now and put it right here. I'm pretty sure in that same picture I'm rocking my Ninja Turtles fanny pack too. <laughs> Seriously, the decor in here is incredible, like totally off the charts. Like all of those amazing displays you remember seeing at all of these places that we visited when we were growing up. Toys R Us and video game stores of all variety. Any of those crazy displays, Rick has acquired them and he used them to decorate his store, turning the entire vibe of this place into something so much more than just a regular video game or toy store. It feels like a full on nostalgia theme park in here. It's incredible. All these carded tick figures are pretty sweet. I, I love this toy line and it's like, I mean, it's not great to be perfectly honest, you know, and it always, you know, no likenesses to the actual, obviously, like Robin Williams probably didn't give his likeness for toys. He's kind of had a history of that sort of thing anyway. Um, but like, even like looking at the artwork and everything on here, it always just blows me away how unlike the movie it all is. And yet, I love this movie so much and I'm so nostalgic for I mean, this. This, this looks closer. It's the, the hook is good. And this Rufio. Is good. I, man. I wanted this toy yeah. so bad as a kid and I never got it. Like, Hook kind of came out at that time where I was like on the cusp of like growing out of toy stuff. So like I left Hook and it was like one of the coolest things I had ever seen at that point. And so I immediately wanted the toys. But I remember my mom was kind of like, ah, you don't need that. Separately, you put her out together. New from Mattel. This is 
This is another one I have at home, but I love this one. Skull armor, Captain Hook. Yeah, so like the armor is shaped like his ship. I don't know if you recognize, but that's like all like, so it looks like he's wearing <laughs> armor that's shaped like the boat, like his ship. That's good stuff. If I say so, is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably what most people think. Wow, look at all the carded Captain Planet stuff. I had this one when I was younger. That's a talking one. It's pretty cool. Wow. Treasure Trolls carry case. That's <laughs> cute. I always like carry cases for toys. It feels like a lost art these days. They don't do this anymore. I don't think They're... I own a single carry case. Yeah, I didn't really have carry cases much either. I definitely think I might have had one of the Motu ones as a kid. Um, but my parents totally didn't fall for the whole carry case thing. They're like, you don't need, no, why do you need that for? So I didn't get a lot of them, but like every toy line pretty much had carry cases back in the day. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, I kept all my stuff in book bags and boxes and whatever else. Oh, helmet racers. That's pretty cool. There are some some VHS tapes over here. Oh, look at this. Barnyard Commandos. Barnyard Commandos? That's awesome. Apple. Apocalypse Now instead of Apocalypse Now. <laughs> I love me a good VHS section, and I love that this is becoming a bit more of the norm while I'm out here visiting stores and doing some hunting. I've had a blast picking up VHS tapes here and there, and this is a pretty great looking selection. Prices are awesome. I'm certain I'm walking out of here with at least one new tape. I love Teddy Ruxpin. I love this cartoon. Don't we have that? So I, I don't have any VHS tapes, but I have the whole series on DVD. I have the complete series. Some Pee Wee Herman. It's pretty cool. Lots of, lots of Rugrats, Veggie Tales, some Disney sing-along songs tapes. You love these? Those I had a few of these too when I was a kid. I don't remember which one specifically. There's another one right there too. Remember Blank Check? Oh my gosh, yes, I do remember Blank Check. Or is it that? Right. Yeah. There's a movie where he gets a kiss from that lady. Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's the thing I remember about that movie. Were you He probably. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel's Undersea Adventures. Oh, Look at that tape. It's all sparkly. Ariel is fire. It's uh, from the animated series, I think. I don't think I've ever seen any of that. It's pretty cool. See Babysitter's Club? It's down here. Oh, The Wonder Years? That's cool. These tapes all are like five bucks. It feels like a really good price for a lot of this stuff. Oh, hey, what's this? Silverhawk's coloring book. Oh, some of it's colored. Hold on, let's check this coloring skills. It's pretty good. I don't know, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Do they color the background and everything? That's that's definitely something I was never good at. Like, I never oh, I always did the background, or at least part of it. Some Mighty Max. This is my favorite Mighty Max set right there. Some of the little ones too. That's pretty cool. Little horror heads. Oh, there's another carry case. Star Trek The Next Generation. That's pretty sweet. This is awesome. And I've been going for some of the uh, Kenner Beetlejuice stuff. Uh, the gross out meter. So the funny thing is, is I do have this at home loose, but I got it many years ago at a garage sale, I think. And the thing that I always knew is it was missing whatever goes in this compartment. 
It's supposed to have a little bug that jumps out. I bet so many of these are missing the bug. Unless you get it in the box like this one. Well, this box does look open. Oh my gosh, and it's just sitting right there. Oh, that's dangerous. But there's the little bug. That's good to see. That is dangerous, just having that like right there. Put that, stuff that in there. So I definitely would love to get one of these that actually has that little bug. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. All right, Retro Rick's Game Point is quite simply an incredible store. This place is just so much fun to be in. And as you guys probably saw from the footage, I was traveling with my entire family and my kids loved this place. Just walking in the front door and seeing the Incredible Hulk and the giant Ninja Turtle and Sonic the Hedgehog, I mean, my kids were in heaven. Spencer spent a lot of time playing the vintage Super Mario Brothers pinball machine in the corner, and Ryder was just all over the place taking in all of the decor. As a parent, it was really fun being there with them, but me and Christina were feeling the exact same way, and there was a lot of cool stuff in here. So, man, massive kudos to Rick for not just opening up a store, which I feel like is something that all of us kind of dream about doing, but man, he really took it to the next level because this place is more than just a place to buy things. This is an experience. This is fun. And for me, that is what collecting is all about. Look, I'm gonna level with you guys here. I've been doing this thing here on YouTube for a very long time now. 2007 is when I started doing videos. And I always had grand dreams. And one of those things I had always thought would be really cool is to be able to someday maybe have my own store space like this. But you know, as time went on, that's just not something that really lined up for me. For me, I am not good at selling stuff. I'm just not. I am definitely more of the person that enjoys on the collecting side and you know it's been a lot of work maintaining a YouTube channel but for me like I never left my day job I have a family I have a day job I do the YouTube thing and I know how much work it is so when I see guys like Rick get out there and just make it happen and they're successful what they're doing and they're having a lot of fun doing it I know Rick is also a family man Man, this is just so incredibly cool to see, and I am so proud of Rick. Dude, you have created something amazing here with your store, with your convention at RetroFest, and you should be really proud of yourself, man. All right, enough of the fun, mushy stuff. What did I pick up at Retro Rick's Game Point? Let's get on with my haul. All right, let's kick off the haul from Retro Rick's Game Point. I did pick up this cool little pin. Gotta throw some support over to my buddy, Rick. But I also picked up this VHS tape for Barnyard Commandos. These guys are animals. It's Apple Calypse now. <laughs> you guys know that uh, one of the things I've been doing lately is collecting VHS tapes, specifically based on old cartoons, and especially if they're based on toy lines, stuff that we don't really see anywhere else but these VHS tapes. So I was really happy to grab this one from the store. Also in the dollar dig bin up near the registers, I ended up finding this vintage Halloween McNugget Buddy that is still in the wrapper. This is from 1992. It's the Mummy McNugget. So I went ahead and grabbed that. 
I've been working on grabbing some more vintage TMNT figures for my collection, mostly of a lot of these various variants of the turtles that I don't have. So here is Sewer Spiker Donatello. It's another one of the Sewer Spitters. Uh, he is incomplete. He doesn't have any of the accessories, but He's in great shape. He's a cool looking figure. I love the beachy design of this particular wave. Uh, you can see he's got like a ball bag on his back, which is what works as the squirter here. So I don't know, I think he's pretty fun. And speaking of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I also picked up the Sewer Army Tube and the Sewer Party Tube. Now, I didn't quite notice or I couldn't really tell while in the store, but it is worth noting that these are not complete. However, they are both near complete for the suey su <clears throat> for the sewer army tube we're missing one of the little buzz saws that goes over here as well as the flag which is supposed to attach somewhere on here um, i also noticed that there's no stickers on either of the tubes so whoever owned these before must have just never applied the stickers that came with them for the party tube, again, we're missing a flag. See, there's actually, this is flipped around the other side. There's a little hole right there that a flag pole is supposed to stick in. Um, and then we're also missing the little clamp that goes up here that is supposed to hold onto this net. Now that piece is very often broken and missing. So I was kind of hoping that it was here. I should have inspected a little bit more, but still these are in really nice shape. Otherwise, maybe I can find these just a handful of pieces that I need to complete these. These, uh, because these are some pieces that I needed for my vintage TMNT collection. Went to your store yesterday too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I shot at your store. It was amazing. Okay, good. Like I took my kids and they loved it. It was like it's like, like, a, it's it's like, like a it's like a theme park. I was gonna in say there. it's like a video game amusement yeah. park or something. Yeah. Though I have I have a small bone to pick with you. Yes, to me. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So like I saw like Pat the NES Punk's book in there. You know but why? I didn't see my you know book why? in there. It why? literally just got traded in. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not like okay. carrying Pat's books. They just, it got traded in and they well. were like, do we need to take this? I was like, I guess somebody will want it. Yeah. But guess what? It's been there for like three months. Oh, <laughs> take that, Pat. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. Thank you guys so very much for joining me for another installment of Toy Hunting with Pixel Dan. I'm really happy that you guys are here and I hope that you're still enjoying these episodes every single Saturday because I am having an absolute blast shooting these and putting these together. Honestly, this channel right here is some of the most fun that I've had doing YouTube in many years. Not that it's not all fun, but it, it's a lot. And you know, the landscape has changed a lot over the years. So again, it's something that I really appreciate seeing you guys coming here and enjoying this content. So thank you very much. As always, I'd love to encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. That way you never miss out on an episode. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Game Point or leave me suggestions. What's a cool store that you think I should check out? Thanks so much for watching. Happy hunting! And until next time, my friends.